Welcome to part three, Koha installation. You will learn about pre-web installer and then Apache configuration, so on and so forth. Let me open my terminal here. I am in my terminal now. Let me access my root. Kublai uh, AP uh, We're trying to install Koha stable into open to If you follow the part, you'll know. Part three, it's pre-web installation setup. What you will be learning, uh, you've already learned in part two how to add Koha repository, uh, download, install, and then the third, I follow the Perl, and then I update, update the Koha software. So now, what you will be learning in part three, port configuration, rewrite Apache configuration, create Koha library or instances, configure Apache and your web server, and then on enabling the modules of uh, Apache and then uh, rebuilding your Sebra and then uh, determining what is your IP address and then load the we'll try to log in also let's see so this is part configuration uh, I you have to follow this command line here uh, let me go to my to the Koha Viki and in the Koha Viki here it is written init pre-web install setup its initial configuration we have to configure the Koha <coughs> site from the configuration file so in intraport it is written 80 and intraport 80 both the same so what we have to do is we have to change it to this intraport and opac port will remain the same there's two things to consider intraport and opac port so we will use 8080 as for ip installation since we it, ours is ip installation let me copy this we will use that port 8080 8080. This is the same code. Remember, I have copied from Koha Viki. Let me uh, access my root here sudo su super user uh, dot, 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 my password, and then I'm in my uh, root here. Remember to always go through your root because you have privileges to all. I'm pasting it and then enter. So, as you can see here, you have to press your arrow key so that. Uh, uh, you can see it gives me this nano uh, in the nano editor, which is a terminal base. Okay, find the following line and change the port number. Let me try to resize the, you know, the tab following line. Change the port number of Koha staff client, which is your intra port to 8080. So just like it is mentioned here in the Koha Wiki. Okay, and uh, intra port, there it is. Yes. So go back and then reach there. Eight zero eight. Oh oh. Oh oh. Eight zero eight zero. And uh, done. We have followed the instruction and now your intra port, which is your staff client port, is eight zero eight zero. Uh, OPAC port remain the same. Remember to save. Control plus S save. Control save. Press the key and then you are saving it. If you're using a leaf pad editor, text editor, then you have gonna have to press the save button somewhere there on the top left right and then now step two rewrite uh, apache configuration step 15 it's step two in part three so we'll copy this command here you're gonna use all these three command you can copy it all at once also let me find it from koha wiki uh, apache modules okay uh, you're gonna configure the file which is in apache so that it can rewrite uh, all the files and uh, enable it at the same time copy the first one you can copy it all this at the same time let me go back to the root yes there i am uh, paste it there and then press enter and then uh, and what it says here it is enabling uh, the new configuration you need to run system restart apache no before we do that uh, we're gonna use the second one and then we will restart all at once so that for the effect to take uh, to take into to come into place so that uh, we will do it all at once uh, copy the second code put it here paste it right click paste okay here again it asks for system restart of your apache web server so we're going to take the uh, three and then you can uh, use all the three at one also all the codes all the command line we will restart done okay so step 15 configuration we have done we have configured the apache we have rewrite it now we're going to create instances koha instances which is your koha library now instances here you can create multiple instances or multiple libraries if you have multiple branches of libraries 
you can replace the library here is just uh, the name of the instances which is your koha uh, database so we uh, any changes it will affect sql apache so on and so forth so we're going to take this code here uh sudo kaha create library is the name of your library i'll keep it as it is let me show you here they give by default it's the library since i'm creating a library uh, i'm gonna use the library here only but you can create uh, other name if you're using some colleges some libraries of uh, institution you can use the organization name there but remember that name because uh, what you give here matters a lot okay Mm, it is says here it's empty no staff user created because uh, we have just created the uh, the library we have not done anything yet now we're going to configure i'm using nano editor to add intraport because uh, for your uh, apache to read the port you have to add you have to make it listen as it says here listen so let me just go to kohawaiki the next 17 step uh, configure apache uh, go back to here configure here it is okay um this is a uh, uh i mean the default port which uh, the this uh packages is giving us okay so i'm just following this uh whatever they're giving us i'm using uh port was used for intra port and opac port changing value require understanding of apache configuration file so we have to understand the configuration file of apache more so if we're going to change it i'm copying the code and then uh uh this do not change anything okay it says here and also add 80 is 80 uh in the configuration section for ip base for internet access uh so that for proper communication because of course port is one way of communicating it from one machine to the other machine and from one server to the other server so we have to allow for port access so i'm copying this code here this command line and then i'm gonna paste it here uh, paste it and then enter and then my nano editor will give me this uh, uh, yes listen 1880 it's already there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add listen 8080 which is the port number i'm going to add it just below listen l i s t n okay space one more space there and then a zero a zero okay and remember to save it because uh sometimes we miss out on certain simple things just below listen 80 you have to add listen it listen space 8080 okay so we have uh, we wanted apache to listen to this port and uh, you know allowed access to it so we're now going to restart control save save the nano editor we have make changes and then uh, exit from it now we are back to our root so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest we're gonna restart the Apache using the following command. Um, remember, restarting Apache is very important. Sometimes if it is if it is in uh, your Koha is unresponsive, you can always restart, copy paste it here, and then restart. Done. Okay. You can use many code restart, stop, start, anything like that. Uh, step 18 now going back to enabling the modules aside. This will enable the modules of Apache and enable uh the koha configuration so we're gonna use deflate uh, command and then uh, uh, enable the modules and then enable koha configuration and restart apache so three command line here you can copy them all at once or you can copy one by one i'm copying one i'm pasting it uh, it's the same thing here mm, three command line paste it there and then enter uh, it should say something about enabling uh, deflate already enabled oh it's already enabled which means the command line has taken you know ha has had its effect okay so we will take the command line number two i better take it from koha Waiki, copy it and then i'm going to put it back to uh, where it's supposed to and then enter and again it should say enable okay already enabled then back to starting the apache restarting it and then i'm gonna Put it here and then paste it and then restart okay done so we are done with that step that is step uh, 18. let us uh, zebra rebuild uh, it's usually important because after the upgrade and changes you've made especially uh, in your in the instances which you have created in my case it is the name of it's just library so okay 
so we will like this one instances library here in case you have make any changes uh, while you're creating instance you have to give the name of that library you're giving so copy that code uh, it's available from the core key also paste it there in the and and then run it and it's okay okay done it's re-indexing all the uh, uh, effect which you have made let us try to determine the step 20 which is your ip uh, address so i'm following this pre-configured from from kohawai key so it should give me exactly what i am looking for unless there's any changes and updates we should not replace the line okay below 127.0.0.1 that is the library domain name okay and then if you have any other machine file you have to you can give other ip addresses instead of the one given here that uh, comes when you tweak uh, certain changes with the ip address so let me copy that and paste it here and then enter it gives me this uh, my local host okay this one uh, local host is 0.127.0.0.1 and 0.0.0.1 okay it should be the same if you know your ip address you can edit it accordingly okay but make sure you know your uh, networking first before you uh, you're dealing with uh, configuration configuring the ip of uh, uh, the one which is already given here this is predetermined within the packages itself or else if you're using dhcp server like uh, okay so if they give you static ip then that also you may have to you may want to give a different ip to it so uh, if that be the case then uh, it may have an effect on your uh, this thing this is a standalone uh, server i'm installing it okay uh, not within a group a lan or a van something like that so uh, please keep that in mind and contact your IT admin or your administrator. There's my logos, my libraries, and then back to uh, uh, another steps, which is uh, this is my local host, and then this is under maintenance. It should show under maintenance, and this one uh, the web browser. You you should write uh, this one. This should work. I think you should be able to. Well, we will try later. We'll see how. Step 21, locate the master password. Uh, we can copy this uh, administrative password to know the, <clears throat> so that before we go to the web installer, the username is already given by default, that is Koha underscore library. Now copy this, this is your username. Okay. Mm, I'm going to save it here. Let me type username, colon, and then I'll paste it here and then password and then so I'm going to give this uh, bold uh, straight line and then straight letter so I'm going to give some color here I think and green will do so password uh, will come to it now let me just change the fun here it's important because it's it looks nice if it's uniform isn't it uh, for the password uh, we're gonna use this command line okay and we if you go to y, y key you just copy this one it's the same one as the y key copy this command and paste it in the terminal run it in the terminal go back to the root remember to go back to the root paste enter here you are you're having your password the secret ingredients to everything here okay save it i'm gonna paste it here and i'm gonna give the same color okay so let me put 12 oh, to still too big it's not and then give 10 okay now give color okay so that's it you have your username and password uh, this is important because when you go to the next part this will be very useful that is the web installer so same thing when i run the second command here is the password similar to the one on top uh, these are all the same except different way of going about it and different when you try this con koha configuration file in the co configuration file also you'll find it uh, you'll find you, you can use this uh, so it gives you if you paste that and then it will show you yes why not why okay um, if you go press your arrow key below down then you will find a password within the configuration file so uh, search for the config uh, uh, 
somewhere below i think there are hidden okay there it is username is koha underscore library and your password is uh, this one you can also change it if you want to but i don't want for now i'm using the default master so this is your username and password uh, remember let us run the, this one more command memory cache to restart go back to the root here and then we will copy and paste and then run and then maybe we will try to restart the apache also in case it's always good to restart you can restart many services perl sql uh, and apache let me type here um, putting the command there it's the same command copy the command and then uh, i'm gonna paste it here okay paste it done okay this is uh, most important ingredient so uh, step uh, 21 is complete okay so now we are left with accessing the the koha staff client okay the web installer open your browser in your browser you type uh, uh, 127.0.1.1 colon 8080 which is uh, yeah 8080 which is your mm, port remember for accessing the site we need the koha staff client we need this ip address uh, mine it has slightly deeper 0 0.0.1.1 0 .1 actually in the koha yk it says differently but here it is like this so uh, we will try to run it in the browser and in the browser we i hope that we should be able to yes this is welcome to the koha 20 version 0 0.05 web installer now this is the now what we remaining is the web installer portion okay before we can complete finally complete that will cover in part four web installation and configuration maybe yeah certain things like covering this thing so remember to save your this password and username okay remember to save uh, this one let's try to log in for now we'll just see if we can log in and this is the password we have not changed we're using the default password copy it and then paste it here in the password section click on login uh, you know <coughs> let's see hopefully was yes we are able to access into the koha modules packages so now the only thing remain is the part four which is web installation so folks thank you i have completed uh, the installation uh pre-web installation uh, okay procedures anyway all right procedures the next tutorial will focused on uh web installation and uh, configuration okay thank you for watching and please follow the next part four for web installation and more configuration thank you